those teeth. It's on the chatterbait. There he goes. <laughs> this lake has this lake has walleye and bass in it. But so far today I've only done wall I've got three walleye. Two times I wasn't filming. We had some boat issues so it kind of messed me up starting out, but I think we got it all sorted out. Let's see if we can get another one. We got, I don't know, about 15 mile an hour winds. We got some rain starting. We may have to go back in. And I'm fishing a chatter bait. With a with a black and or with a blue trailer because this water is just chocolate milk. Okay, guys, this is day two. <laughs> so we're off the lake. After I stopped that video, I didn't catch it anymore. It started pouring and not only the rain but a little bit of lightning started flying and so we got off the lake i had my family with me you could probably hear my boys in the background and my wife um so i was fishing a chatterbait i was fishing a chatterbait and i put on this this blue um craw trailer on it and i was just if you watch the video there's a little bit of me fishing in there i was stopping and going giving it little pops just barely keeping that that blade vibrating and that seemed to be what they want they didn't want it to move fast but I was throwing right up against the bank these walleye are super shallow um, all three of my bites came in probably five feet of water or less so right up against the bank the water's chocolate milk and they got they got minnows pushed up against the bank there's no shad in this lake it's a, just a bunch of minnows um, so that's their forage but this is what this did it um but again i was just casting out right on the bank it wasn't by the brush and there's there's a bunch of submerged brush because we've had so much rain this so this season but it it was up on the rocks so if you get in between cracks and rocks and get ambush points coming out of the rocks the shore was really rocky and the big chunk rock is where they were where they were ambushing so that's the that's the pattern i was going but um, the chatterbait did it for me. Again, don't always just cast out and reel in. This was variable speed, reel, stop, pump it, reel, stop, pump it. Uh, keep this, keep that blade going, vibrating. You can feel it in the rod. Now I was fishing this on a Fate Black. This is a 7.3 medium heavy, um, 13 fishing Fate Black, Fate Black rod. And this is a lose um, speed spool real uh, seven to three gear ratio I believe no seven to five gear ratio but again I was slow turning that handle I've got 16 pound flora 100% fluorocarbon on here and that was what was working for me um, maybe I'll go back next time and it'll be square bills up in that or crank or crankbaits up in that shallow stuff 
but that was that was the pattern that's what i was catching walleye on i was hoping to get the mixed bag of walleye and bass but i got three walleye had some boat problems at the beginning of the day let my boy swim for a while and then had some bad weather come in so we didn't get a fish that long but it was a good time anytime you can get out and catch a few fish uh it's always a good day so again get out there and do some fishing uh i was fishing bass tactics but catching walleye so that was pretty cool uh, make it a great day. This is Jonathan Burke with Live Bass Fishing. We'll see you next time.